Heimbuch America, incredible company, right? Well, we're gonna learn a little bit more today with MTD CNC North America about the gear side of things. And I'm with my buddy, Al. Decades of wisdom that we're gonna to apply to this conversation. So I'm excited to learn, just like you guys, about Heimbrook products and how they apply to the gear industry, which is a place where rigidity is incredibly important, where flexibility is incredibly important, but also the size of these parts that are going into the machines, because some of these saws some of these blades are massive, so the more space we can get, the better. But again, you guys know I'm not the expert, but I bring the experts with me. And I got Al today for that, so Al, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you, Tony. So today we're going to talk about Heinbuch's solution for holding gears, both from the ID and, and we'll get to the OD. But the most important part to start cutting the gear teeth is to hold the gear on the ID. And our solution is we have the, the Mando G, G for gears, for both machining a gear when you're uh, on a horizontal or vertical machining center or on a turning machine. The most important thing is getting a very tight squeeze clamp on the ID. So we, we use an ID mandrel on the Man, Mando G that gives you both radial clamping all around on the ID and axial drawdown that, that really snugs that gear in there so you can make a more aggressive cut, but at the same time you need the clearance to get a grinding wheel or a hobbing tool in there to cut the teeth. So our Mando G is, you can put three different work stops on it because you wanna have the gear away from the, the chuck itself so you have the clearance for the tooling and, and a nice sturdy grip on it. Now, if you want to get even more of a grip, we have our Maxus. So Heimbuch America went and, and invented the top plus that, that allows a segmented collet or clamping head to have hex flats on the side to give you more surface tension to, um, to clamp that part. Before it was round on round where you basically only have a couple of points that you might be clamping on or a diameter. When you have flats, you're, you have that, that clamping surface that's almost 100%. We've taken that same technology and, and rather than have a round tapered arbor like you, like you would have on a standard mandrel, we have made the hex tapered arbor and a hex mandrel ID that goes on it to give you that same type of clamping surface on the ID that you would have with a, a collet chuck. So this gives you another, as this gives you 25% more clamping force than a, um, a, a round collet, which Tony, what does that relate to? Your word? Rigidity. Gotta have rigidity. <laughs> rigidity. So we're getting the same thing with our Maxis now to, to give you stronger clamping. Sometimes you have larger gears, smaller gears, and when you have your smaller gears, we have our micro line where we can get down to about five millimeters of an ID to do tiny gears. Wow. The reason it's different is because you can't get the same type of a arbor and the same type of a segmented um, ID collet or mandrel to, um, to clamp that small of a diameter. So we have our micro line. One thing you noticed also is once you get to a smaller gear, those tools have to get even closer. So we need to give you the clearance to get a, a grinding wheel or a hobbing tool in there to do smaller gears. We also have our workhorse of, the, um, of ID clamping, which is our T213. What it does, what we have on, the, on this mandrel is that um, we have a compensating work stop on it. So, so we're, it has a little bit of a, a rock to it. So when you come down and pull down the face of that gear, if, if you don't have the flatness and perpendicularity that you need, this will compensate for that. And again, that strong clamping pressure from the, from the ID. Now, along with holding gears on the ID, after you cut the teeth of a gear, it goes to heat treat. 
and when it comes back from heat treat, it's not always as straight as it was when you sent it there. So you have to go ahead and, and touch up that ID bore. Well, how do you touch, touch up that ID bore and keep relationship with the pitch line um, by holding it on the, ID, on the OD? So what we do is we can make a profile collet or clamping head. And what we do, we cut the profile of the gear right into the clamping head that allows you to clamp and locate right on the pitch line, which is so important to the complete process of manufacturing gears. And then you can do that ID bore, and it's, it's in direct relationship with the pitch line. Another solution to that that we also have is we have a face clamping chuck that has pins that locate on the pitch line, and then we clamp the face to it, which allows you to get to the ID bore. So here we are, we can do, we can hold gears from the ID, we can hold gears from the OD. Sometimes you need to hold gears between centers to do shafts that have splines and gears cut into them. Sometimes a uh, face driver isn't enough to drive that gear to, to, to lower your cycle time and get a more aggressive cut. You need to, to clamp that shaft a lot more. So what we have is a combination chuck that holds the part between centers, has a face driver to drive it so you could do an OD turn where you want to clamp it, and then, then we have a retractable clamping head that comes out and grips the ID that gives you solid 360 degrees of clamping pressure on that shaft and allows you to take a much more aggressive cut and um, eliminates vibration. It, you get a better surface finish, you, you get a, um, a shorter cycle time and no vibration. That about covers it. We can hold gears on the, the ID, the OD, we can um, locate on the pitch line and, and that and, and we can do hold gears between centers too. Well, as you know, Al, I've never had the great pleasure to machine gears, but I really honor the people who do and find it to be a work of art. I think what the gear industry is doing is enjoyable to watch and, and watch it grow in its technology. And I think Heimbrook really supports that. When I'm listening to you talk about all these really fascinating products and how they help, I'm thinking in my head, even though I've never machined a gear, I'm thinking to myself, wow, okay, so it's more, it's, it's more rigid, which means I can cut heavier, which means my tool life is going to be better, which means my finish is going to be better. But with that added rigidity, we're actually reducing the overall size to give more tool space, which allows me to have bigger wheels and larger tools to go along with my heavy cuts. And then you also mentioned how many different parts you have, so you're really focused on the flexibility for the customer as well. So you're really hitting on all the key notes of how to continue to impress and grow within the gear industry and allow that flexibility, that rigidity, the longer tool life, everything that everyone needs and I've said this before and I'll say it again, you guys have over 150 patents of your own and there's a large percentage of what you do as an overall company that is custom built, even though you obviously also support off the shelf stuff. So you're always there to support everyone in the industry and every facet that they're getting into, no matter how complicated or simple, you're ready to take a look at it. Tony, that's a good point. One thing that um, we can do whatever size gear, we, we, we we are very good at custom special work holding too. And we can use the same chuck to go from ID clamping to OD clamping on gears. And you're right, gears present a challenge. And, and the, the cutting of a gear is so precise and the tolerances are so close because you have every gear meshes with another gear to transfer power or transfer direction to something else. So, you have to have both gears very, very close to each other and, and the line that they connect to or where they actually touch is the pitch line and that's what we are locating on when we make a gear. So um, we know gears, we know the challenges because there is a challenge to making gears. It's not like other parts and um, we're addressing those challenges. Yeah, it sounds like. And so you're kind of saying 
Precision's kind of important in the gear industry, Precision's huh? Precision's very important, yes. Which is why I consider you guys all artists and gals as well, everyone out there. Thank you for doing what you're doing because we kind of need the gears as well. Al, amazing. Amazing products. Heimbuch America, respectable, German-made. Thank you for sharing how this all works, how it's going to support the gear industry as a whole. I definitely appreciate you sharing that story with MTD and MTD's global audience. Thank you. Enjoy doing it.